Hi everybody. So I wanted to do a video of my very little haul that I got in the post this morning, which is these. This is just a portion of my order. I ordered 10 of these and I got seven today. I was supposed to get all 10 today, but that, that's beside the point. It's um, the Bilovax credit card holders in personal size. I think I mentioned before that I wanted to use uh, this Filofax, my grey Austerly, as a wallet. I wanted to set it up for my cards. Um, previously I've been using a purse with lots of card slots and a um, credit card section and um, note section and things like that. And I've also been using this which is my very small Hello Kitty card wallet. Holds loads of cards, um, but it got to the point where if you have too many and I couldn't close it and I couldn't get the card out and it was just a pain. So um, I wanted to try using this as my wallet and this along with a small coin purse so that I didn't have to carry everything with me all the time. Um, I'm gonna try setting this up and just using my wallet that I currently use, which has bank cards and things in so that if I just nip to the shop I only take that and then I'll only take this one as well if I'm going further than just to the local shop. So when I was doing some of my shopping for my racks last week I also went to Paper Chase and purchased their version of a card wallet. You can see that there. And this, the side where the holes are punched is where the card comes out. Now, I don't know if it's the type of plastic, the shiny plastic, but the cards get stuck quite easily. That's it. And I thought it would be good this way because then they wouldn't fall out in my bag when they were in the file facts. But I can actually, it's hard to get the cards out. You see? But I did use a couple of official file facts ones and find it a whole lot easier. I don't think the cards will fall out. I also, because I'm using the compact size, I think you can see there that the difference in Paper Chase and Official Filofax is quite dramatic. The size of them, and so it sticks right to the end. I wouldn't be able to get a pen in or anything um, if I just used Paper Chase ones. So my plan is to set this up tonight. I've got an idea of which dividers I'll need to make, but I'm going to sort of go with the flow and see what happens for a bit. Um, I also was looking for some advice. I would like to get an A5 planner to use for my home binder, which will be finances, menu plans, and things like that. So I've been having a look. I can't decide if I should wait till the Aqua Malden comes out. That's quite expensive, but gorgeous. Or if I should just, because I've never used one for that purpose before, if I should buy a cheaper one like the Apex, for example, in Fuchsia, and see how it goes. Um, if anybody has the Apex, is the fuchsia more purpley than pink? Because it looks it on the website. Um, so just some advice down below would be great, thank you very much. And uh, I will do an update on this when I've set it all up properly and used it for a little while. And we'll see how it goes. So I hope everyone's having a great day. Bye.